Yeah, she said she wants to take me out to this restaurant tonight. Hmm. That's nice of her. What? What's wrong? Nothing. Well, obviously something. So did she even, like, ask you where you wanted to go? Or she just was like, we're going here tonight, and you, you just dropped everything for her? She just wanted to take me out to dinner. No, because I'm, no, I'm, I'm serious, because I'm super tired of her just being like, we're going here, you're doing this, you're doing that. She's not really like that. Oh, I guess we're not talking about the mother that I've seen for 15 years. What? Okay, no, it's fine. He got me the cutest necklace. Aw, that's sweet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you want? <clears throat> what? He didn't just get you a, a necklace just to get you a necklace. What does he want? I don't think he wants anything. Okay, well, he gets you a necklace, and then he takes you home, and let me guess, he wants something from you. He has to tell you something bad. He's done that to you in the past before. When? Okay, well, I would probably just return the necklace then. Why? No, because you need to stick up for yourself. You can't just accept a necklace without asking what he wants first. You need to chill. I'm just saying, I'm trying to protect you. Uh, there's food in the fridge. All right. Are those new shoes? Uh, yeah, I just got them. Where are you getting all this money from? My job. Okay, well, if you're getting all this money, then you can start paying bills around here. I do pay bills. Okay, well, then you can start paying more bills around here. Because I don't get to just treat myself with shoes. Oh, well, you could. Yes, I could, but instead I put it into the house. I put it into groceries. So do I. Okay, I don't want to have this conversation anymore. What are you doing home? Oh, I have today off. So you have another day off of work? I didn't have a day off. Then why did I see you home yesterday? Because I just got off of work. Okay, so when you get home, why don't you start cooking or cleaning? I do do that. Okay, so if you have all this time, then I guess you could just get another job then. I, I work and I'm done with this conversation. Uh, what are you doing tomorrow night? I was going to go to a school dance. I'm not paying for that. I know I am. Okay, why do you feel the need that you need to go to a dance? I go to one. My friends are going. I just think you, you could be spending time with your parents. Hanging out at home, maybe helping with some chores. Well, I just want to... You know do what you want. I don't care. Dude, my manager is pissing me off. What did he say? He's mad because I won't cover another shift. You know what you should do? What? You should just not show up for your shift. Take like a gap year or two or three. I need to work though. Okay, well then take out like a loan and then pay back in like 10 years when you're rich. Most people don't just get rich. Okay, well I've like never worked. I have time to do whatever I want. It's so fun. You should try it. My phone is being so wonky. Well, what's wrong with it? It just keeps like shutting off. Oh, just get a new phone then. I don't have the money to do that. I know, but you work and you deserve a new phone. Yeah, but I can't just drop a thousand dollars on a phone. Yeah, but like at the end of the year, don't they give you like a free phone? Doesn't your service give you like a free phone? When you get an upgrade, you still have to pay for the phone. Oh, I just got a new phone every year. I just thought they gave it to you for free. I don't know, you still deserve one. Oh my God. What? We should go to that new restaurant tomorrow. Sorry, I work. Okay, well then just call out. I called out last week for being sick. Okay, we'll call out for like the last two hours. I'll pay for your lunch. It's like the same thing. It's not the same thing. Okay, well I call out all the time. You don't even work. I babysit my brother like two times a week. What are you talking about? That's not a job. Whatever. Look at this ring he got me for my birthday. So oh cute. my god. <laughs> That's an amazing gift. What should I was thinking, I know it's your birthday, I'm so sorry. Um, but my birthday's coming up in like four months, so I'm just trying to like get the ball rolling. Are you guys all free? I think. Yeah. Okay. Alright, what should we do for my birthday? I don't know. Okay, so I was thinking maybe we don't go to the restaurant tonight and we go there on my birthday. Because I kind of showed you guys the spot. Are you okay? You've been like quiet. Oh no, I'm fine. Are you sure? It's just, I just feel like I'm being ignored. Like I feel like everyone's talking to like everyone but me. Well, it's Alex's birthday and- I know, just... like tonight's not like about me, but I'm just like, include me in something. I don't know, conversation, ask me questions. I don't know. Why are you sitting in here alone? There's a movie in the other room. Okay, well, everyone's watching horror movies, and I said I don't like horror movies, so I'm not in there. I mean, it's PG-13, it's not that scary. Okay, well, if she's gonna be a good host for her birthday, maybe she should think of everyone. She wasn't the one that put it on. Okay, well, I'm gonna think about everyone on my birthday. Auntie! Hey, guys! <laughs> Did you get those rolls from the store? Yeah, I can guarantee it tastes better than anything you cooked tonight. This food is yucky. Yeah, this food isn't good. Um, here I tell you what, grab both of our plates, put them in the trash face down. <laughs> we'll have some rolls or something. Uh-huh, that's what I said to her. God, I hate that woman. Me too. Do you want some? Um, I'm six. Oh, I keep forgetting. Maybe next year. Can you tell me why you bought my kids Halloween costumes? Can you tell me why you didn't buy your kids costumes? We don't celebrate because of our religion. What religion? 
Unless that religion's you not wanting to spend money on your kids. I remember the days when you used to be passed out drunk in the middle of the woods on Halloween saying, this is my favorite holiday. Grow up. Jeremy Brenner said my Halloween costume was ugly. Brenner? Is his mom Ashley Brenner? I think so. Well, I used to go to school with his mom and she was the ugliest girl in the school and I can guarantee her kids are even uglier. If that makes you feel better. Why are you still home? Because she needs to stay home and hand out- Okay, last time I checked, I wasn't talking to you. She turned 18 two months ago. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. Go get your costume on, I'll pass out candy. Hey, um, do you have water bottles or are you still on your like paycheck to paycheck journey? Oh, no, I actually just ran out of water. I drank the last one, which is weird because I never see you drink water, which explains the acne on your forehead. Hmm, well, at least the pimples are on the north side of my body instead of the south. Oh, speaking of bodies, are you still not able to see your toes when you're putting on your shoes? Are you still able to see your dad or is he still missing too? Oh, speaking of dads, is your dad still on crack or is he probably just at home right now selling your PlayStation or something? Oh, are you talking about the PlayStation you gave me that you stole because you couldn't afford to buy your own PlayStation and you gave it to me because you were too scared you were gonna get caught? Speaking of stolen, didn't you steal my entire personality? All of my jokes, all of my lingo, my style, things like that. Well, I guess I'm doing a better job at it because I have friends and you don't. That's why you're always begging to hang out with me. Be so for real. That's as for real as it gets. We were gonna go swimming, if you wanna come with us. Uh, no thanks, I don't really feel like getting wet. Oh, just bring a towel. Yeah, it's like, don't feel like getting in the water and then like- Oh wait, well, there's, there's a jacuzzi there. Yeah, I would still get wet though. Oh, so I just thought because it's like bubbly. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stay here. You guys okay. can have fun. Well, just meet us there at like three. Bring it to Wait, what? Hey, we're about to go to a sushi restaurant. Did you? Ooh, what kind of pizza do they have there? Oh, I think they just have like fish. <clears throat> oh, well, I could probably just get like pepperoni or something then. No, like they just have fish. Oh, okay. Do they have like, I don't know, like wings or something? No, they just have fish. Okay, I'll figure be... something out. I like cheese. Hey, do you think you could turn that off? Oh, yeah. Oh no, I meant the light. Oh, I thought you were talking about my phone, I'm sorry. Um, the light? Oh, the light. Sorry. No, like, turn it off. Oh, okay, sorry. Girl. Oh, sorry. Hey, you're de- It is disgusting in here! Sorry, I was just No, trying... I don't care! I've been depressed- I don't care if you're sad or depressed, that's a really good excuse not to do any of your responsibilities. You have 30 minutes to clean this shit up. Maybe I should go to therapy or something. Therapy for what? Because the last time I checked, you had a roof over your head and food in your stomach. You're not going to be spending the family's money on something dumb like therapy. When you just don't want to go to school and you don't want to clean. You know, I'd really appreciate it if you went to the grocery store with me today. You can do that for me. I don't know if I can. So you want me to go all the way to the grocery store, grab all the stuff, and bring it all the way up by myself? I appreciate that. Thank you. Maybe Brandon No, can... he helped me last time. I don't want to hear it. Grab your coat. We're going right now. Okay, so I know for the Airbnb, you guys wanted $100 each because that's what you guys could afford. But I found this super nice one that I just booked. So you guys just need to send me $700. It's not that much more. $700? Okay, I'm not staying somewhere shitty. I'm not. Sorry. So Venmo me. The Uber just canceled. Oh my god. Well, can't your mom come pick us up? She's working. Okay, what about your dad? He's working too. Why are they both working? So we can live. Oh my god. That's so fucking stupid. Sorry. Okay, well, what are we gonna do then? My car just declined. Are you serious? Yeah. Just transfer out of your savings. I don't have anything. Do you have any savings? You've been working for six years. I pay for my own stuff. I have like money from like all my birthdays combined. It's like probably like 20K. You know what? We should just go to that restaurant we went to last week. It was like, the food was really good. The people were really nice. The vibes were really nice in there. I didn't really like it. The vibes were off and I didn't really like yeah, the food. Yeah, I didn't really like it either. Yeah. Yeah, the, the people were like kind of like awkward and the food was like cold. Yeah, let's just go somewhere else. Well, that wasn't good. We should ask Trevor to come over. He's cool. I don't know if I want to hang out with him again. Really? I don't know. He just like, he seems like he just thinks he's better than everyone else. Plus, he's always like telling us places he's traveled and stuff. It just, you don't like his vibe. I really like him. He's cool. He is kind of sweet. Yeah, I think he, I think I was just like, I don't know. I like him. I like him a lot. So maybe we could just like go over to his house later or something. He's cool. We could watch Coraline. It's like my favorite movie. It's like nostalgic. I love it. It kind of creeps me out. I don't really like it that much. I actually really didn't like it either. For some reason, it just like, it's kind of childish. I was thinking that. Yeah, my favorite movie isn't Coraline. I couldn't remember. I was thinking maybe, I don't know, something that sounds like Coraline. I don't know. 
I'm so excited to go to Disneyland. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I just hope I make it until then. What do you mean? Nothing. I just feel like my time is limited. I keep having this reoccurring dream that I'm going to die November 3rd this year. Girl, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm supposed to even do. Because he's been really weird lately with me. Oh my god, not again. What? Who is it? Nothing. This guy's been, like, stalking me. Cool, put it on speaker. Okay. Hello? Your debit card has been overdrawn in the amount of 300 and- Oh, that's something different. <sighs> I'm so tired. Girl, when was the last time you brushed your teeth? And when was the last time you had attention from a man that wasn't your dog? Oh, I thought you loved dogs. <laughs> Cause you know you love using the dog filter on Snapchat to cover your acne. Ooh, you caught me. I use filters. But at least I don't use Photoshop to distort my entire fucking body. So it doesn't look like I gained 35 pounds over the winter break. Oh yeah, I think you were actually the one that taught me how to use Photoshop. Cause you used to Photoshop hair on the top of your head because you had a bald spot. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, I have been taking medication so it grows back. <laughs> Speaking of medication, are you still on those medication pills that help your stench and your odor downstairs? Because I think we can smell something. I just think it's so amazing you're talking about smell when you're still talking with your nasty ass breath. It's amazing. <laughs> and I just think it's so amazing how your hair can look fried and greasy all at the same time. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I went into work. There was like three people in the office that told me to sit down and they fired me on the spot. They said, you have to get your stuff and go. And I'm like, why? It's not like I'm abdicating all my responsibilities or something. What? And they're like, you're extremely moody. Like you can't be around people if you're moody. And I'm the least capricious person I know. What does that mean? Like I'm literally just trying to get snacks. No, cause that same exact thing happened to me. I went to that same gas station. I was like half asleep. I was just grabbing snacks cause I was hungry. And I go up to the counter and the person doesn't, he didn't never stop talking. Like how loquacious can you be? LaCoy what? Hey! Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. How many times are you gonna fill me with trepidation today? <laughs> Girl, what are you saying? It's just like scared. Yeah, I was gonna invite your parents. No, my parents cannot be in the same room together, especially on New Year's. Wait, why? I mean, they've been split up for like seven years. Oh, I thought it'd be nice to just have everyone. Okay, well, if you put them in the same room, the juxtaposition of it all with their personalities is gonna be too crazy. What? Well, he was just buying like frivolous things on her card. That's why they initially broke up. Okay. And now he comes over, he acts like super avant-garde with everyone. Girl. I'm gonna get myself some food. You guys want something? Oh, do you think you can get me a drink? Yeah, I think they're like two bucks, so. I didn't bring my wallet. Oh, you can just Apple Pay me. Okay, but like I'm saving for something. I can't afford to order for everyone. Okay, I didn't know I had greedy friends, Jesus Christ. Come in. Hey, um, I was wondering if I could use your car in the morning. Oh, are you having car problems? No, my car's fine. I just don't want to use up my gas. Well, I don't have that much gas left. I I'm just going to go get coffee. Yeah, if you just put a few bucks in the tank. I can't fill your tank up. It's literally right down the road. Why do you care? Why do you care? Oh my god, I won't use your car then. Hey, so we're all going to that concert next weekend. Oh my god, are you going to get us tickets? I mean, we bought all of our own tickets. Okay, so why would you even ask me then? To see if you wanted to go with us. Okay, well, you know I can't afford it. You have more money than all of us. So you're gonna come to me and ask me if I wanna go to a concert and then not pay for the tickets and then just leave me hanging here by myself? I was inviting you so you didn't feel left Why out. would you even bring it up then? To see if you wanted Dude, to go. whatever. No, that's actually super self. What? No, thank you so much for bringing it up then. Making me feel left out. The movie's about to start soon, we should leave. Can you like scoot away from me? Your breath smells like dog shit. Well, we just had a big meal. No, that's not a fucking excuse. She has a fucking black rotten tooth in her mouth and my mom's too afraid to go to the dentist. Please get away from me. Mom, why are you parking? Because we need to get out. You're not fucking coming in with us. Grab your stuff. Oh, I just No, thought... we told you to drop us off. You're not fucking watching the movie with us. That's weird as fuck. You can go home. Dude, are you wearing my fucking sweater? I've never You're seen You're gonna stretch out the arms of your big ass bingo wings. Are you serious? I can literally see the threads hanging off right now. Take it off now. Look at them. They don't even know that their lives are meaningless. Girl, who are you talking about? You're one of them. Hey, do you want to go to the bar with us later? Oh, I would. Um, I just feel like I don't really belong there. What are you talking about? I don't know. I just don't really fit in to bars. Not in a town like this. This is New York City. <laughs> are you okay? Sorry. Um, we can't get on that plane tomorrow. Girl, what plane? I had a dream it's going to crash. We drove here. What are you talking about? Oh, right. Sorry. Oh, are we still going hiking tomorrow? It's supposed to thunderstorm, so I don't okay, think- Okay, we could just like bring an umbrella or something. 
we're still gonna get drenched. Okay, but we're walking uphill. What does that have to do with literally anything? I just don't get why. I just got a picture of my niece. Oh my god, let me see. Why is it bald? <laughs> because she was just born. I don't think I've ever seen a bald baby before. Every baby's bald. No, that's weird. Is he talking yet? She was just born. Uh, well, I'm not, I don't know how babies work. Did you get your movie ticket for tonight? I'll just get it tomorrow. But the theater's almost full and it's tonight. Okay, well, when I get there, I'll just ask them for a ticket. It is almost full. Okay, well, they can't just, like, refuse me service. They can if there's no spots. Okay, I don't understand what's going on. Yeah, so my flight home leaves tonight. Oh, then we should get, like, dinner tomorrow. I won't be here. Maybe, like, seven. My flight leaves tonight. I won't okay, be here. Okay, then we can, like, go earlier. I won't be here. Wait, I'm confused. What are you making? Um, mac and cheese. Okay, are you out of mayonnaise or something? Why are you using butter? What? It's in the ingredients to use butter. Okay, I put mayo in mine. It tastes the same. Butter is like white and so is mayo. It tastes the same to me. I'm not eating that though. So I was thinking maybe we start driving tomorrow. Oh, I would, but I work tomorrow. Okay, but didn't you already work yesterday? Uh, yeah. So you worked yesterday and you work tomorrow. Exactly. I don't get it. No, his surprise party is going to be so fun. Like, imagine he's not expecting us, which he's not. He thinks we're intruders. He just, like, blows us away with his shotgun. We, like, fly through the window. Uh, what the fuck? You have so many clothes in here. I know. Do you ever just, like, think that someone can, like, fit behind these and you're, like, sleeping and they're, like, peeking their eyes through just, like, watching you and, like, recording you sleeping? Like, some random person. What? <laughs> I love your cats. <laughs> Do you ever just look at them and think you're not giving them enough attention? And they're just gonna die, like, probably soon, because he's, like, what, like, 14? Oh! Aren't you tired of it? Tired of what? Doing the same thing every single day. Like we're puppets on a string. What the fuck are you talking about? I didn't expect you to get it. I have to tell you something. What? One-way ticket. What? To Paraguay. What are you talking about? You'll probably never see me again. Girl! Just don't cry. It'll make it harder. I wish we could just shed our skin. What? Be someone else. I don't know. But I'm tired of waking up in the same body every single day. What if I want to experience something or someone else? Honey, why have you been in your room all day? Oh, I got grounded. For what? I got a B on my midterm paper. A B? Oh, uh, yeah. Why the hell is he grounded for getting a B in class? Because if he wants to go to college, then that's okay. Not... Do you want to go to college? I mean, not really. He doesn't want to go to college. I don't really care if he wants to go to college. Okay, that is, that's not my problem. That's definitely not his problem. And you didn't go to college either. You barely graduated high school. Come on, we're gonna go get some food or something. <coughs> Are you okay? I don't really. Are you sick or something? What gave it away? The fact that he's sniffling, or the fact that his face is red, or the fact that he was keeping us up all night coughing, or what? He's going to school, so... He's not going to school. Definitely not. He already missed multiple... Okay, and you also just took off work so you can go shopping last week. Go get in bed. Right now. Auntie, what are you doing? Shh. There's someone outside the door. Mom's talking to the neighbor. Oh, why didn't you tell me that? Jesus Christ, he's scared the shit out of me. I don't know. I was just kind of... Oh, that's just my dad. He's coming home from work. Oh. Well, anyways, so... God fucking damn it! I'm so tired of being messy in here! Let's just go to my room. Do they do that, like, a lot? No, he just doesn't like when people are over when he gets home from work. I'm tired of... She needs to go home. She needs to go home I can, like, leave. I don't want anyone over here right now. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine that you're here. Everything's fine. I need to go home. It's time for I can just have my mom. No, it's fine. I can just have my mom. Come here, get me. Her and her new boyfriend are so cute. She seems so happy. I wouldn't say she's happy. What do you mean? Why? I don't know. She was just like posting so much about her new boyfriend the other day. Like no one that's happy is like posting that much. She posted their engagement. I don't know. I just feel like I've seen her like way happier before. She's gonna get married. I'm just saying. I love the wall colors in here. It's like a beige. Yeah, it's. I think it was called Sandcastle. Mm, I'd say it's more of like a beige. Yeah, Sandcastle, beige. They're kind of the same thing. Okay, well, companies just, like, draw names out of a hat and they throw it on top of a paint can and call it that color. I mean, I guess. That's just what it's called. Eh, it's more like a beige. We should go to that restaurant we went to last week. That guy was really sweet. That guy was not sweet. What do you mean? He was nice to all of us. Well, he, like, only asked you if you wanted extra water. Everyone else was, like, left thirsty. He asked all of us if we wanted water. Okay, well, I wasn't going to be annoying and tell him to get me, like, another water. 
Well, then you can't be mad if he didn't give you water. Yeah, he probably just wanted to sleep with you or something because he only liked you. What? No, he wasn't sweet at all. Oh, hey, good morning. S Stop. What's wrong with you? I haven't had coffee, so... Are you serious? What? There's no coffee left. Oh, well, 7-Eleven has pumpkin spice. Okay, then why the hell are we still talking? Get in the car, grab the keys. Can you grab me a pumpkin spice latte as well while you're in there? Oh, shut up. Move out of my way. Jeez, get on there. Oh my god, you got me one. Ah, Thank you. Stop. I need to enjoy this. Here, take this. Oh my god. Yeah, I finished my last semester, unlike some people. Oh, I'm so glad that you're doing good in school. <laughs> Maybe you should put that same exact effort into, I don't know, say, going to the gym or something. I don't know. <laughs> mm. Well, speaking of the gym, remember we found your cousin's gym thirst traps in your hidden folder on your phone? Let's talk about that. Oh. Well, speaking of family, don't you still kiss your dad on the mouth at your big age? I think we can all still smell what your dad had for dinner on your breath. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes people have relationships with their dads still. Some of us can't say the same, though. Mm. Maybe you should have a better relationship with money so all of us don't have to chip in and pay for your food every day. Maybe we should start, like, a GoFundMe or something for you. Oh, and then you can help me because I know your experience on the GoFundMe website. Kind of like when you set up that GoFundMe for your mom's fake illness, raise $200 and then send it to your online boyfriend who turned out to be 45 years old. Okay, you ate me up a little bit. <laughs> no, because you ate me up a little bit too. Can we get like an hour or something? I'm hungry. I never realized how small your nose was. It's like a little button nose. It's so cute. Oh my god, really? It's actually just a symptom of fetal alcohol syndrome. <laughs> my mom drank a lot when she was pregnant with me. But I love your smile. It's so white. Oh my god, stop. I went to Mexico to get my teeth whitened. They pretty much just stripped all the enamel off my teeth. They're like clear, translucent clear. <laughs> but I love that ring your husband got you. It's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> my husband actually said it was like four grand, but he got it from one of those little machines at Walmart. And he doesn't think I know. But my finger's turning green, so I'm trying to hide it. But I love your pants. Oh my god, you're too kind. <laughs> I haven't washed these pants in like three months. They're so stiff, I'm pretty sure if I took them off, they'd walk out of this apartment by themselves. If I have to pick up one more thing in this house, it's going straight into the trash can. Sorry, I no, didn't mean to. No, I don't to. care. I didn't buy you stuff for you to leave them in the hallways. So put it in your room. The next thing I see is getting thrown away, and I'm starting with this. Just give it back, I'll put no, it away. No, I don't care, you're done. You're done. Go grab all your presents. For what? Because I said so. All of them are put away. I want you to grab that PlayStation over there as well. But it's set up already. Unset it up. Unset up all the things. Because we're going to grab all your presents and put them in a big old pile and we're going to send a picture to your dad. Why? Because he needs to know how much I do for you. You want to know where all of his money went this Christmas? It went straight over to his new girlfriend. And that's disgusting. So we're going to take a new picture and I want you to smile as well. Grab that over there as well before we take the picture. I know, you're being super... <laughs> what is that? We just got some food. Did you guys seriously just go get fast food? We were hungry. Am I just cooking for my health? Those are leftovers. No, we have enough food to last three weeks. We do this every single year. Sorry. Okay, then I don't want to hear saying that you need money in a few days because you spent it all on McDonald's and freaking Wendy's or wherever the hell you guys are going. No, I'm tired of this. Every time he messages you, you can't just like respond. That's what he wants. And I know that. I know if I respond to him, I'm going to be right at his front door again and then a week later I'm going to be right on this bed in the same exact boat. And I'm trying to get through with as much as equanimity as I can. What? But he makes me feel so diminutive every single time that I have a conversation with him. It's so hard and you know exactly how he is. What does that mean? He makes me feel small. Oh my God. What? I forgot to tell you. Okay, so you know that girl we met at the bar the other day? Okay, so we met up the day afterwards, all right? And we're having a conversation, everything's going great. And then she starts like talking to me like, like in a super didactic way. What? Like super didactic. Acting like she's teaching me a lesson or something like I'm not a full grown adult. What are you doing in here? Nothing, I'm just getting ready. Then why are you acting so enigmatic? What does that mean? Like you're acting mysterious, I don't know. How? Like... Shut up. Ooh, I've been hearing about that movie, it looks good. We are not watching that. Why? I watched it last week, that movie's freaking egregious as hell. Egregious? Like bad, like super bad. I can't even pay my rent this month, I'm so stressed. Maybe you could like pay it. What do you mean, I don't have the money. Oh, well then maybe you could tell them I can't pay it this month. Maybe next month. That's not how it works. Oh. Whew, it's freezing in here. I can grab you another blanket. Oh no, it's fine. I already have a blanket. And I can grab you another one so you can be warmer. Why would I put another blanket on? It's not going to do anything. 
I mean, it's an extra layer of heat. Wait, I'm confused. So we'll be back on the 13th. Okay, that should work, because we just need to be back before the 8th, because that's my mom's birthday. But that's before. This song is so good. Have you heard it yet? Oh, I don't know. Let me see. Bottom in the trees, I'm in the breeze, the footsteps on the ground. I've heard this one a few times. I can tell. in every place. Do they do this every time that you're over here? Yeah, pretty much. It like never stops. Can you guys hear me? Uh, yeah. Oh my god, I hope I'm not annoying you. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cause I was just... Did your mom get you this? Yeah, last week. Super cute. Song. I don't think it's that song. Oh, I I think it sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a, a plastic tree? Uh, yeah, it's a fake tree. That's what I thought. I could smell it. Yeah. What? <laughs> so actually, a fun fact is that there's actually microplastics coming off that Christmas tree. A little fun fact. <laughs> so we're breathing in microplastics while we're breathing in the air coming off of that tree. Oh. Do you have a guest room I could sleep in possibly? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I just don't want to breathe in microplastics. <laughs> Do you only have filtered water in your refrigerator? Yeah, we have a filter. Yeah, so actually, filtered water isn't actually filtered. There's actually chemicals in the filter. So you're actually drinking chemical water, which is actually worse than even going in your backyard and scooping a puddle of water. What? Yeah, I just don't want to die. <laughs> so if we could just go to the store or something. So this is the guest room. This is cute. <laughs> Do you happen to have extra bulbs? Like light bulbs? I don't want to sound annoying at all, but um, I think you're actually using LED lights in here, which actually can give you skin cancer. From what? So people think that when you're not outside, you're safe, but actually these kind of bulbs should give you more harmful rays than the sun does. I don't want to wake up with skin cancer or blisters. So if you just have like different bulbs, that would like help out a lot. Hey, excuse me. Why were you in the shower for 30 minutes last night? I was just in like a bad mood and I was- I don't care if you were upset. I don't care if you were crying. You're not gonna be wasting my water like that. Do you pay the bills? No. You can cry in bed. Well, there was I want a proper- Give me that damn phone. What the hell? You know what your teacher told me today? You dropped a whole letter grade. I've just been feeling really- It is not because of this mental health stuff. It's because of this phone. And once you bring that up, you can have it back. And I'm taking this too. Where are you going? Taylor's house. Oh, so you're too depressed to go to the grocery store. You're too depressed to go outside. We are good enough to go to your friend's house. Nope, that's not going to fly with me. Mom. Nope, go to your... Hey, do you have an extra pair of underwear I can use? Sorry, I think they're all dirty. I don't care if they're dirty. They're probably cleaner than the ones I'm using right now. Wait, why? Oh, I think I sharded in them. There's like shit all up in there. What? Shit, I think we're out of Parmesan cheese. Oh, you can probably find some of my shoes. What do you mean? Oh, I have this super bad problem where my feet shed. Literally like a snake. It's disgusting. You can literally shake it out. It looks like there's dandruff coming out of my shoes. Girl. What are you doing? Oh, I was just smelling my nose piercing. It stinks so good. <laughs> what? Like bad, but good. I love sniffing it. It stinks. I have not been able to sleep lately. Oh my god, why? I don't know. I just can't fall asleep. What are you doing? Oh, sorry. I actually heard that if you see someone fall asleep or about to fall asleep, it'll help you sleep. So I was just trying to help. What the hell? Dude, my costume's not gonna be here before Halloween. Did you tell them that you need it for Halloween? Yeah, that's not how shipping works though. Okay, well you should call them and say, hey, I need this by Halloween or else I can't have it on Halloween. That's like messed up. You guys should come over to my house for Halloween. My family has this like crazy tradition where we actually like carve pumpkins. I already carved pumpkins earlier this week. Did my dad talk to you and tell you how to do that? Girl, everyone does that. Oh. Hey, to give the satisfaction asking how you doing now. What are you doing? Oh my God. That is so embarrassing. What did you hear? Guys, I know this is super annoying, but do you mind if I work here for a second? I have like a deadline. What do you mean? What is this for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell? I'm so annoying, I'm sorry. Hey, do you want to watch The Little Mermaid with us? Wait, is that that movie where she goes like at the end, she's like, out of the sea. Yeah, that one. Or is that like Tangled or something? Look at how cute these flowers They're are. Weeds. What? Most of these in here are weeds. And not only that, they're also invasive. Well, they're still pretty. I mean, they're pretty, but half of them are gonna end up dead because it's gonna suck up all the nutrients out of the actual flowers. Okay. What are you guys watching? 
Oh, it's called... Uh, oh my god, I love this movie. <laughs> Due to the part where she gets shot yet, and she's like in the hospital for three days. No, what the hell? Oh, okay. Well, it was obvious. Look at her. She looks like she'd do something stupid. I've been working so much, I slept for 14 hours last That's night. That's not good. What? Sleeping for 14 hours actually increases risk of diabetes, makes you have a shorter lifespan, and is bad for your mental and physical health. You should be getting eight to nine hours of sleep. Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Stop <Yeah>. it. <laughs> uh, he liked me last time. <laughs> I can leave if he doesn't No, like stop me. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does he not? Like I don't want to impose. No, no you're, you're good. good. You're good. I promise. It's okay. Up or it's okay. Uh, Mrs. H, uh, can I get some water? What was that? Some water. I'm sorry. I'm just having trouble hearing. What was that? Uh, can I get some water? I was just feeling kind of thirsty. Yeah, there should be a few left in the fridge. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to impose or anything no, like that. No, not at all. I, not at all. No, I'm, I actually don't know why I said that. I actually don't like water. I don't drink a lot of water. That's why my acne is bad. Well, I had fun. Thank you guys for having me over. Um, I'm just going to go home. <laughs> I thought you were spending the night. Oh, I, I, could, I could spend the night. Um, do you want me to spend the night? Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah I have work at 6 in the morning. Then you don't have to stay. No, if but you I can. Want to. Oh, you want me to go? No, no, no. Oh, I'll stay. I'll definitely stay. Uh, uh, I can sleep on the floor. Or no, we have a room. I don't know, I don't know where. Oh, I just ran out of dog food. I need to go to the store. Oh my god, you should have your dog go on a fast. What? No, because my dog's been on a fast for seven days. Dogs can go seven days without eating. It makes them like all slow and like like sleepy and cute. I hate when my dog's super hyper, so it's been helping out a lot for me. Oh my god, we need to get tattoos. Oh my god, we totally should. I know this really good- No, I know this guy in Phoenix. He does amazing. He uses expo markers and then uses a needle to put them in your skin. Look. What the hell is that? It looks just like my dog. My mom wants me to come home and do dishes. You should text her back. And say what? Say, if you're looking at them, then you should be doing them right now, you lazy bitch. What? She no, because why doesn't she just do them? Oh, honey, you can have that last slice of pizza if you want. I probably shouldn't. Why? My mom said I'm gaining weight. I know your mom did not tell you that. The same woman that almost missed her mortgage payment last month because of the foreign weight loss pills that have no payoff. Look at your mother. Go grab that slice of pizza and I'm gonna go talk to her. Did you clean the house? Yeah, I did. The kids were supposed to do that. Why would the kids clean the house when they just got off of school for eight hours? Because it's part of their chores. Okay, well, I'm on vacation. I have time. And you always have time. You don't have a job. Excuse me? Okay. Well, maybe it'll help you lose weight. Auntie, can I have these cookies? No, you may not. Why? Because those cookies have a lot more than sugar in them, honey. No. Remember when you told us that you had to go to the food bank for like a whole week because your family couldn't afford like actual food and you were like texting people and stuff for a place to stay and stuff? Yeah, uh, remember when uh, like a few days ago you told me that you hated brushing your teeth? Like you actually hated it and that's why your toothbrush in the bathroom is bone dry and your teeth are turning yellow and why your breath always smells like shit, like currently right now? Um, I don't, I don't think she meant it like that. <laughs> No, because if she says some shit, I'm going to say some shit back. I'm tired of biting my tongue. She's acting like a bitch. I'm going to act like a bitch as well. What's wrong? I told you I didn't want to come, and you guys begged me to come, and now I feel bad. Feel bad about what? About my dog, Tobin. He's probably wandering around the house with his little feet because I always kiss him goodnight, and now he's probably wondering, where's mom at? Did she desert me? And I just feel really fucking bad, and I can't even sleep. He gets panic attacks if I'm not there. What are you doing? I'm just looking at pictures of Tobin. It calms me down. Do you want to see him? Oh, my God. That's my little guy right there. Uh, the vet wanted to put him down because he's 28 years old, but he has like four diseases. He can barely walk, but he can't run from me. I miss my little toe bin. I'm gonna bite your tongue out of your mouth and suck on your little toes. I miss you so much. What the fuck? I'm home. How was it? How was what? The date. Fine. Well, did he stick his tongue in your mouth or what? Ew, no. I I'm not trying to be weird. That's how I used to do it. You can learn a few things from mom. I don't know. What do you think of my outfit? It's cute. I like it. Are you gay? No. I, there's nothing wrong with being gay. I would love if you were gay. And when I was in 12th grade, I did a lot of experimenting. Oh, Ew, I, experimenting, I don't want to hear so. about that. Okay, fine. I was just 